today I thought I'd do a vintage page. I'm really starting to get into the vintage. So I've got some Semco acrylic matte paint here in brown and I'm going to use some packaging to apply this paint onto the page. Now I'll just spritz it with a little bit of water, rub the, uh, the packaging together and then I'll apply it randomly to the page. dry this before I go on to another colour. Got some Semco Antique White Matte Acrylic Paint here and I'm going to do the same technique. Once again, I'll just dry this before going on to the next step. Got some tissue paper that I've already stamped on and I'm going to use this to cover my page. So I've got some Mod Podge here which I'm going to use to glue this down but before I do I decided to wrinkle it all up and then I'm going to tear it all up and then I'll just glue the pieces down onto the page. I thought I needed to get some more brown onto this so with my finger I'm just applying the paint. Once again I'm just going to dry it with my heat tool. So I'm just going to spray the page with some walnut distress stain and then I'm just going to dry it off add some antique linen distress stain also in the lighter areas. You know distress stains react with water so I'm just going to splat some water on the page and just uh, get a kitchen towel and just dab it off. I'm just going to repeat the process again. You can see where the water marks are. That's what I'm looking for. So I'll just dry that off quickly. Got the Semco Antique Linen paint here and also I've got a box of shapes so my little box of tricks here I've got uh, various things that add different marks on pages so I've got squares, cir circles, triangles now so I've got this lid and I'm going to apply circles all over randomly on the page. got this folk art metallic gold so I'm going to use the same technique and randomly put circles all over the page. dry the page with my heat tool. Got these antique vintage sheets here which I want to use into my page but I want to distress the edges. So what I'm going to do is get my sanding block 
and my fingernails and gonna rip and tear and sand some of the edges so it looks a bit vintage. I've also got this photo here and I'm going to just distress that up as well. these pieces down with Mod Podge but before I do I decided to get some distress ink out and I've got this um, vintage photo which I'm going to go around all the edges just to get rid of that white edge. everything down. Um, I'm not going to glue everything to the edge though because I want some of the edges to lift up on the page. I've gone through my um, sticker word box and come up with some words. I'm going to individually cut them out and distress around the edges with vintage photo and apply them to the page with some Mod Podge. I'm then going to just dry that off and I'll get my pit marker and I'm just going to go around the edge just to give it a bit of shading. you've enjoyed my page uh, for today if you have enjoyed it please give me the thumbs up and I'd love to hear your comments on what you think of this page also if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification button until next time happy crafting see ya